Um, Two-parter. How important was it for a Georgia guy to be the Georgia coach? And then I noticed in games Nick would leave you alone a lot. How closely is your defensive mind to his? Is that a, a reflection of that? That's, uh, I'll probably forget one of those two. I'll answer the first one. I, I, no, I don't mean that. I, I just don't know if I can remember both of them. I don't know which one to answer first. I, th I think when you, when you talk about Nick and I defensively having been together for 11 years and spent countless hours in meeting rooms and, and doing what coaches do in season specifically, you do become one. You do think alike. You do share ideas about situational defense, what we're going to play in this situation, what's good, what gives us problems. I mean, obviously you become the same philosophically, and that's important that you're on that same page. Otherwise, he wouldn't be comfortable enough to leave me alone. So I can't lose that aspect and in, 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 in looking and hearing, you know, Derek Mason even speak yesterday, you know, where he stepped away and he stepped back in after a year. I think that's important for me to be involved because that is where I'm at my best is being involved with the defense. So um, I think that's important for me to measure that in amounts, the right amounts. And then the question was about Georgia, uh, hiring a Georgia guy. You know, I, I don't know that. I, I don't think that's always critical. I always think it's hiring the most – the best available guy for the job who can be successful. Certainly recruiting ways into that, certainly ties to the state. I don't think, you know, being tied to the university gives me any huge advantage over somebody else other than the fact that I can say I went to school and I did this. I think it gives you the respect of the players because they know you played there and you've been through the same things they have. But it's not critical or uh, the only key to success.